plot 4 comma negative 1 and select the quadrant in which the point lies. So 4, the first number in our ordered pair, that's our x coordinate. That says how far to move in the, in the horizontal or the x direction. It's a positive 4, so I'm going to go 4 to the right. And then the second coordinate says, what do we do in the vertical direction or in the y direction? It's a negative 1. Since it's negative, we're going to go down. And it's a negative 1, so we're going to go down 1. So that right over there is the point 4, comma, negative 1. So I've plotted it, but now I have to select which quadrant the point lies in. And this is just a naming convention. This is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant. This is the third quadrant. And this is the fourth quadrant. So the point lies in the fourth quadrant, quadrant 4. And I guess you have to know your Roman numerals a little bit to know that that's, the that's representing quadrant 4. Let's do a couple more of these. Plot 8, comma, negative 4, and select the quadrant in which the point lies. Well, my x coordinate is 8, so I move 8, or I go 8 in the positive x direction. And then my y coordinate is negative 4, so I go 4 down. And this is sitting again in the, not the first, not the second, not the third, but the fourth quadrant in quadrant 4. Let's do one more of these. Hopefully, we get a different quadrant. So we want to plot the point negative 5, comma, 5. So now my x coordinate is negative. It's negative 5. So I'm going to move to the left in the x direction. So I go to negative 5. And my y coordinate is positive. So I go up 5. So negative 5, comma 5. And this is sitting not in the first quadrant, but the second quadrant. And of course, this is the third and the fourth. So this is sitting in the second quadrant. Check answer, and we got it right.